volcanic eruptions and tectonic activity shaping the Earth. Dawn of a new age, dinosaurs emerge from a shifting landscape. Earth in turmoil and the start of a new age. 250 million years ago, Earth was an unrecognizable place, scorched by volcanic eruptions filled with noxious gases and void of much life. The Permian-Triassic extinction event had reduced global life to its barest minimum, exterminating up to 96% of marine species and 70% of land vertebrates. Across the world, only pockets of resilient life forms survived in isolated refuges. This dark age marked the start of a new era where life could be reshaped and redefined. From this barren landscape emerged a group of creatures called archosaurs, reptiles that would become ancestors to the dinosaurs. As millennia passed, these reptiles adapted to the conditions of their harsh surroundings, evolving traits that allowed them to survive and ultimately thrive. It was within this context of adaptation and transformation that dinosaurs began their journey to dominance. The Triassic period, 250 to 201 million years ago, would serve as a stage for the early dinosaurs, setting in motion an era that would last for 160 million years. The first dinosaurs and the challenges of the Triassic period. The Triassic period was a time of harsh, unpredictable climates, dominated by the supercontinent Pangaea. This singular landmass, spanning nearly the entire globe, created arid deserts at its core and left only the edges fertile. Rainfall was scarce, temperatures fluctuated wildly, and volcanic activity spewed clouds of ash into the atmosphere. In this desolate world, dinosaurs made their first appearance. One of the earliest dinosaurs was Eraptor, a small, agile omnivore. Standing just under one meter tall, Eraptor had a slender build, sharp teeth, and clawed hands ideal for grasping small prey. The ability to adapt quickly was essential in this environment, where survival meant evading larger predators and scavenging for limited resources. Around the same time, larger dinosaurs like Herrerasaurus emerged as formidable carnivores. Reaching lengths of three to four meters, Herrerasaurus was a fierce predator, capable of taking down other small dinosaurs and reptiles. It had sharp, serrated teeth and powerful jaws, making it one of the most dominant predators of the Triassic landscape. Evolutionary innovation adapting to survive. The end of the Triassic period marked a shift in dinosaur evolution. To survive in the harsh environment, dinosaurs began to develop specialized traits that gave them an advantage. Herbivores, like Platyosaurus, one of the first large herbivores, adapted with long necks to reach vegetation other animals couldn't access. Platyosaurus was among the first dinosaurs to grow into a considerable size, an adaptation that provided protection against its predators. These evolutionary traits marked the beginning of a trend towards gigantism among dinosaurs a trait that would continue to evolve throughout the dinosaur era. Early herbivores, by growing larger, could deter smaller predators and access more abundant food sources. This adaptation was crucial in the Triassic as it led to the dominance of dinosaurs over other reptile groups. A new world, the start of the Jurassic period. As the Jurassic period began around 201 million years ago, Earth's environment began to transform. Increased volcanic activity and the gradual breakup of the Pangaea created new coastlines, valleys and rivers. The warming climate, increased rainfall and emergence of forests opened up new and vast habitats. Dinosaurs thrived in this lush green world, evolving into a myriad of shapes and sizes to exploit the rich resources available. In this environment, large herbivorous dinosaurs flourished and the sauropods became dominant. One of the most iconic Jurassic dinosaurs was Brachiosaurus, a giant herbivore with a unique body structure, allowing it to reach vegetation high in the treetops. Brachiosaurus could grow up to 18 meters tall, making it one of the largest land animals of all time. The Jurassic period also saw the emergence of other famous herbivores like Diplodocus and Apatiosaurus. These massive long-necked dinosaurs traveled in herds across open plains where their size provided protection. Their ability to move in groups marked an evolutionary shift towards complex social structures which helped protect them from predators. Apex Predators, the Jurassic Era. With the rise of the massive herbivores, nature responded by creating equally formidable predators. 
Allosaurus emerged as one of the most fearsome carnivores of the Jurassic. Standing up to nine meters long, Allosaurus was built for hunting with powerful legs, a long tail for balance, and sharp claws. Allosaurus was well suited to the dense forest of the Jurassic. It could navigate between trees with agility, stalking its prey before lunging in for the kill. This hunting strategy made it an effective predator, and its position at the top of the food chain was unchallenged. Stegosaurus, an armored herbivore with distinctive backplates, also lived during this time. Though primarily a peaceful grazer, Stegosaurus was equipped with a spiked tail or thagomizer, which it could use to fend off predators like Allosaurus. The unique plate arrangement along its back helped regulate body temperature and made Stegosaurus a formidable presence in the Jurassic landscape. Complex social behavior and the rise of nesting. By the late Jurassic period, dinosaurs had begun to exhibit social behaviors previously unseen. Herbivores such as Iguanodon formed large herds moving together to protect themselves from predators. Fossils of Iguanodon have been found in groups, indicating that this social behavior was common. Traveling in herds provided security for juveniles and helped adults fend off attacks. The Myasura, known as the Good Mother Lizard, took social behavior even further. Fossils show that Myasura nested in colonies and adults provided extensive care for their young. These nests contained hundreds of eggs, which were carefully guarded and nurtured until they hatched. This communal approach to survival was a significant evolutionary advantage, improving the survival rate of young dinosaurs and allowing Masura to thrive. The Dawn of Flight One of the most exciting developments of the Jurassic was the evolution of feathers in certain theropod dinosaurs. These feathers provided insulation, helping dinosaurs survive in cooler environments and eventually aided in gliding through trees. Archaeopteryx was one of the earliest known bird-like dinosaurs had feathers, wings, and claws. Though it could not truly fly, it used its feathers to glide between trees, escaping predators and foraging for food. Another among these early flyers was Pterodactylus, commonly known as the pterodactyl. Although often associated with dinosaurs, Pterodactylus was part of a distinct group of flying reptiles called pterosaurs. These creatures had slender bodies, long wings, and lightweight hollow bones traits that enabled them to glide over vast distances and hunt for fish and small animals along coastal areas. The stage set for the Cretaceous. By the end of the Jurassic, dinosaurs had reached their peak. They had diversified into countless species, filled every ecological niche and developed unique adaptations to thrive in their environments. The earth was vibrant, filled with life and marked by intense competition. With the dawn of the Cretaceous period, the stage was set for even more specialization and innovation among dinosaur species, leading to the famous giants of the late Cretaceous, including Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. The Triassic and Jurassic periods were a time of incredible innovation and adaptation, from small agile hunters like Aeraptor to the towering Brachiosaurus. Dinosaurs evolved to dominate a diverse range of ecosystems. As they spread across the planet, dinosaurs transformed Earth's biosphere, leading to the iconic age of the dinosaurs. The rise of the Cretaceous Titans. The Cretaceous period, spanning from 145 to 66 million years ago, marked the final and most spectacular chapter in the age of the dinosaurs. The Earth was a very different place compared to the Jurassic. The breakup of Pangaea continued and new continents were forming. This created distinct climates and ecosystems, leading to the emergence of unique dinosaur species across different regions. The climate was warmer, lush forests and flowering plants flourished, and the environment became more biodiverse than ever before. Dinosaurs had evolved into some of the largest, most specialized creatures to ever roam this planet, and in this era would give rise to many of the iconic dinosaurs known today. The apex predators, Tyrannosaurus rex and its kin. The Cretaceous period was home to some of the most fearsome predators in history, including the Tyrannosaurus rex, often simply known as T-Rex. This dinosaur became one of the most well-known apex predators, weighing up to nine tons and measuring 40 feet. Its powerful legs allowed it to cover ground quickly, and its massive skull, filled with serrated teeth, could crush bone with ease. T-Rex was not only a solitary hunter, 
Evidence suggests it may have had a complex social structure, potentially hunting in pairs or even small groups. This behavior would have allowed T-Rex to take down larger prey, adding to its dominance in the Cretaceous ecosystem. Another apex predator of this time was Spinosaurus, a unique dinosaur with a crocodile-like snout and a large sail on its back. Unlike T-Rex, Spinosaurus spent much of its time in rivers and lakes, using its elongated canonical teeth to catch fish. It could reach up to 50 feet in length, making it one of the longest known carnivorous dinosaurs. Spinosaurus's semi-aquatic lifestyle distinguished it from other predators, making it as one of the most unusual and specialized dinosaurs of the Cretaceous. Among the smaller yet deadly predators was the Velociraptor, a creature no larger than a modern day turkey, but one that was remarkably adapted for life of active hunting. Velociraptors measured about two meters in length, had long curved claws on each foot, and were covered in feathers, linking them closely to their avian descendants. Velociraptor's most distinguished feature was the sharp, retractable claw on each foot, designed to slice into prey. Unlike the lumbering giants of its era, Velociraptor hunted in packs, which allowed it to take down larger prey, despite its relatively small size. Its lightweight, agile body enabled it to run swiftly, while its curved, powerful forelimbs with sharp claws allowed it to grip prey tightly during an attack. The Velociraptor's agility and intelligence were critical to its success, and despite its small size, the Velociraptor was a fierce competitor. Its legacy endures, and its highly adaptive and predatory nature made it one of the Cretaceous period's most feared and iconic dinosaurs. The iconic herbivores, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, and Hadrosaurs. The Cretaceous period was also home to a wide variety of herbivores, each adapted to defend against the powerful predators around them. Triceratops became one of the most iconic, with its three facial horns and large bony frill. Weighing up to 12 tons, Triceratops had a formidable defense strategy. It could charge predators with its horns, and its frill protected vital areas like its neck. Fossil evidence indicates that Triceratops lived in herds, giving these herbivores strength in numbers. Ankylosaurus, another heavily armored herbivore, was built like a walking fortress. With its massive, low-slung body covered in bony plates and its powerful tail ending in a large club. Ankylosaurus was nearly impervious to attacks. When threatened, it could swing its club-like tail to deliver a devastating blow, capable of breaking the bones of any predator foolish enough to attack it. Hadrosaurs, or duck-billed dinosaurs, evolved to become efficient grazers. These dinosaurs had wide, flat beaks and rows of teeth for grinding plants. Parasaur Olophus, a hadrosaur with a long, curved crest, was one of the most distinctive. The crest may have been used to produce sounds, aiding in communication with herds. Hadrosaurs lived in large groups, often migrating seasonally in search of food, and their social structure made them highly successful in the Cretaceous ecosystems. The evolution of flight, the rise of pterosaurs and early birds. During the Cretaceous, flying reptiles called pterosaurs reached their peak. Quetzalcoatlus, one of the largest known pterosaurs, had a wingspan of up to 10 meters, allowing it to soar over vast distances. Pterosaurs like Quetzalcoatlus filled the skies, hunting fish and small land animals. Their lightweight hollow bones and membrous wings enable them to fly with ease, making them the rulers of the Cretaceous skies. At the same time, early birds evolved from small theropod dinosaurs. Archaeopteryx had already paved the way, but now true birds like Hesperonis adapted to fully aquatic lifestyle. Hesperonis had teeth and strong paddle-like feet, allowing it to dive and catch fish in the Cretaceous seas, hinting at the future diversity of bird species. Diverse ecosystems, coastal regions, forests, and deserts. The Cretaceous period's continental drift created diverse ecosystems. Coastal regions teemed with life as flowering plants and insects spread rapidly, providing new food sources. Forests were filled with cycads, ferns, and early flowering plants, forming dense, verdant canopies that provided food and shelter for a multitude of species. In the deserts, small theropods and early mammals adapted to the arid conditions, while in the forests, herbivores and large predators ruled. This environmental variation led to significant biodiversity, with distinct dinosaur species evolving to fit their unique habitats. The beginning of the end, environmental shifts. Toward the end of the Cretaceous period, 
volcanic activity began to increase significantly, leading to a series of environmental shifts. Massive eruptions in what is now India formed the Deccan Traps, one of the largest volcanic features on Earth. These eruptions released vast amounts of sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, altering the climate. Acid rain and temperature fluctuations began to impact dinosaur populations as food sources dwindled and environments became unstable. The impact event, a planet-changing collision. Approximately 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid struck Earth near present-day Yucatan Peninsula, forming the Chicolub Crater. The impact unleashed an explosion equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs, creating a firestorm that engulfed everything within hundreds of miles. The blast sent a cloud of vaporized rock and dust into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and plunging Earth into darkness. Temperatures plummeted, and the loss of sunlight disrupted photosynthesis, causing a collapse in the food chain. The Aftermath, a world in darkness. In the aftermath of the impact, fires raged across continents, and the Earth was plunged into an impact winter. Plants and trees withered from lack of sunlight. The herbivores starved, leading to a collapse in the food chain. Within months, nearly all large dinosaurs perished. Only small, burrowing animals able to survive on decaying matter endured these extreme conditions. The survivors, mammals, and the rise of a new era. While the dinosaurs faced extinction, small mammals survived by sheltering underground, feeding on insects, seeds, and other small resources. These early mammals would go on to evolve and diversify, eventually leading to the rise of a new group of dominant species. The Cretaceous Pelagene extinction event marked the end of the age of the dinosaurs, but it paved the way for the age of mammals and eventually humans. The age of the dinosaurs, spanning over 160 million years, ended abruptly. Their extinction reshaped Earth's ecosystems and allowed for the rise of new life forms. While the dinosaurs are gone, their legacy endures in the birds that continue to soar through today's skies. The era of the dinosaurs was over, and we enter the Pelagene period and the rise of mammals. <laughs> there were some crazy looking dinosaurs, eh? Did you spot them? Let me know in the comments below if you did and which ones were your favourites. And this channel is for curious people just like us who love mysteries, secrets, myths and ancient history. I thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the rise and fall of the dinosaurs. And if you did, why not check out Tutankhamun, the boy king, or the lost civilization of the Incas on screen now. Until next time, stay curious.